Hi everybody, this is Ron, and we just finished with that, uh, this 06 Ford Escape with a 3.0 liter engine belonging to Jim Smith. And, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a tremendous success. We just added another vehicle to our Zeros list, as you can see over here. These are a number of engines that we, or vehicles that we've modified uh, in the last few weeks here. Uh, starting with a 99 Town and Country that was really ridiculous on the hydro problems, a 92 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The uh, 03 F-150, Nissan Versa, dot, dot, dot. Now, this is a 66 Ford F-150. I want you to notice that uh, because this vehicle did not have a catalytic converter in it. So, we were able to successfully zero the emissions on that vehicle as well. Uh, the 04 Nissan Titan that belongs to Ron Fielder. Uh, the 03 Windstar. Now, uh, the S-10 Shields, that was the... Uh, the other guy's S-10 that came over. What was his name? Russ Hurd? Russ Hurd, yeah. Okay, this is Russ Hurd's vehicle. Okay. Uh, a lady friend of mine, Suzanne, has driving an 07 Honda Civic with a 1.8. And here's another 97 Town and Country. Now, this one is another one that was a remarkable case because the hydrocarbons on this vehicle were over 3,000 parts per million after a warm up and a drive, and the catalytic converter was completely heated up. This thing was a gas pig. And after applying the gas man grew, the, the emissions went all the way down to zero on the hydrocarbons, oxides of nitrogen, and carbon monoxide, all three. So she was extremely happy. Now we just added this the Ford Escape with Jim Stiff. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me tell you something. Uh, when I tell you that it is entirely possible to get much higher efficiency levels out of your engine using very simple techniques that we teach Gadget Man Technologies. Now let's take another look over here at the emission screen and you'll see what we're talking about when we say a zero emissions vehicle. This zero oxides of nitrogen, this is 300 times more uh, poisonous to the environment than carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Here we have the hydrocarbon emissions. Here is the carbon monoxide. Here is the oxygen content in the exhaust. And you see it's quite low. Uh, it was lower before, but that's because it was burning up the uh, oxygen inside the catalytic converter with the fuel that it now no longer needs. Carbon dioxide is uh, just, uh, is, let me see, let me look at my original figures here. Uh, carbon dioxide was at 14.2, so it's, it's down a little bit, uh, not remarkably so. But this is the most interesting figure of all at this point on this, this reading, because it's, it's reading 16.3 parts air to one part fuel. And it started out at uh, uh, 15 to 1. Now it's now, over 16 to 1, which indicates... But remember, this car had already been previously modified slightly. So. Yes, but these these numbers were before we finished the modification. That's, that is correct. That is correct. So what we did was we I had modified this vehicle before, but uh, we had... I had gone through several revisions of my bits to get the highest quality product out there, and the last set of bits I've got are absolutely perfect. They do a, a marvelous job in getting the right shape, and the shape is critical to generating the waveform. In addition to that, we did a modification on the vacuum system. Uh, all we did was disconnect and cap the PCB port. Uh, it's already got a, 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 a crankcase emissions ventilation line that runs to the intake airstream, so it's, it's a redundant system, and all it does is detract from your engine efficiency. So anyway, as you see from the numbers here on the screen, this is live happening as you watch it, okay? You can see that this vehicle is running tremendously efficiently. And as, as you look over at the board, you can see that we've got 12 vehicles, which we have done what would be considered impossible uh, in many shops today. And, but, you know, not here in Gadget Man Land. So, Ladies and gentlemen, don't always be willing to take a chance unless there's something to risk. Now, this is just a shape change of the intake air stream. That's all it is. We take one part off the throttle body, as you've seen in the previous video here, and we change it by one-eighth of an inch, and we put it back on the vehicle, reroute a couple of vacuum lines, and these are the results that you get. So I want to say thank you all for your faith in me and for helping me bring the Gadget Man group to public. God bless y'all richly and warmly, and have a great day.